All right, what's up, guys? So today, uh, I'm going to be talking about something that happened a little while back at a friend of mine's house about six months ago. We were hanging out, normal day. I'm just jumping right into this, too, because it's just that fucking ridiculous. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. But uh, yeah, anyway, this started as a normal day or normal night, I guess you could say. And I was hanging out with a friend at his house and his mother was having a party. And uh, when I say party, I mean a get together of like her and about 20 other moms. She would just invite a bunch of her friends over. They would sit at the table drinking, doing whatever. And the moms would bring their kids over and me and my friend would get stuck with them. We basically got stuck with fucking babysitting duty and it just got really annoying because we were dealing with people that were like really, really young and then people that were like our age that would pretty much just give us looks of fucking death because they didn't want to be there with us too. And it was understandable, but this certain night just started off pretty normal. We were hanging out upstairs and we made sure, me and my friend both made some rules for everyone. Don't go in the basement because, well, his basement was just like chock full of fucking awesome stuff like gaming consoles, a drum set, a bunch of instruments, just like basically the whole entertainment of the whole house pretty much and obviously since there was a bunch of random people showing up to this house that we were gonna have to basically like babysit slash hang out with we didn't really want you know to have anything get stolen so we just brought some stuff upstairs that they could use to like watch netflix and stuff and that was pretty much it but we go more into the night more people show up and this one kid shows up that's a little uh i guess you could use the word sketchy to describe this guy he just wasn't um very enthusiastic about where he was. And I mean, that makes sense. I would probably be pissed too if my mom dragged me to some random house with a bunch of people. And that's happened before. But still, you don't got to look at everyone like you hate them and want to kill them. But anyway, the night went on and we went outside to skate for a little bit while everyone just kind of sat inside and watched Netflix. And we had the basement door pretty much like it was shut and it had a vase in front of it. Pretty much meaning, you know, don't fucking go in that door. There's a vase in front of it, a big vase at that. So don't go down there. But this was kind of me and my friend's fault. When we went outside to skate, we left a lot of people behind just to watch Netflix inside. And I guess the sketchy kid, uh, Mr. Sketch himself, went over to the vase, moved it, opened the door, and went downstairs and just went on a spree of stealing shit. And I don't know if that's what he did. He might have went down while we were inside. Who the fuck knows? But he somehow managed to slip past everyone and go down there without anyone noticing. And it's kind of shitty because the basement door is literally right fucking next to the living room, but everyone in the living room was sitting so far to the left that they didn't see the door open. And basically this kid went downstairs and just went on a whole spree of stealing stuff. And this motherfucker knew that we were going to be out there for a while, so he took his fucking time. Because when we got inside, he was right back on that couch, just no one even noticed he was gone, probably thought he was in the bathroom. The vase was still right in front of the door, so we didn't think anyone went down there. But later in the night, this kid ends up leaving, right? Him and his mom are going. He rushed her out of the door, too, like she was talking to my friend's mom, and pretty much just pulled on her jacket and made her take him home early. But after he leaves and a majority of the people leave, we decide to open up the basement door and go down there just because we got bored and wanted to play some Xbox. And we get down there and just... The look of the whole gaming setup slash like, entertainment setup was just so fucked up. Like, we went down there, and where the Xbox was, it was just gone, and there was just cords sitting on the shelf. And where the games were... There were just no games. And we're like, okay, what's going on here? And my friend's like, dude, I hate my mom so much. I'm like, what? Why the fuck would you hate your mom? He's like, dude, you don't understand. She came downstairs and took my Xbox. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that, that's true. She probably did because his mom would always take his shit away whenever she'd get mad at him. And he's just like, dude, I fucking hate her. I literally just did all that for her and she takes my Xbox away. I'm like, yeah, really? We just kind of sat here and dealt with all of those random kids and she just took it away. And he runs upstairs. He's like, mom, why? Why'd you take my Xbox? She's like, I didn't take your fucking Xbox. And he's like, well, someone did. And she's like, who would have taken your Xbox? I'm the only person that lives here with you. And he immediately tells her to follow him as he goes downstairs and shows her that everything's pretty much gone that, you know, he would use every day. And she's like, all right, someone must have taken it or you guys are just pulling a prank on me. Like, which one is it? And she looks at me. I've been going over there for so long. And she looks at me like I took it. I just kind of looked back at her, giving her that, like, I didn't fucking do anything. Look, I'm innocent. And she just looks back at him and goes, all right, well, who do you think took it? And me and my friend already just agreed on that one kid that was over because he didn't say pretty much a word the whole time. The one thing I remember this kid saying was, where's your bathroom? That was literally it. But anyway, my friend's mom was just like, okay, well, I'll call her tomorrow. It's a little late now, so I'm going to wait till tomorrow and then I'll call her and see if her son took it. And a couple hours go by and we're literally in the basement just sitting there watching fucking cable TV because the Xbox got stolen. And we hear the doorbell ring and it was really late at this point. So I run upstairs and I open the door and there I see this kid, the sketchy kid from the beginning of the night, holding my friend's black Xbox with his mom standing behind him just going, I'm so sorry. And I open the door and I'm like, oh, what's going on? And she's like, yeah, can you go get Amanda? And by Amanda, I mean my friend's mom. I'm just giving her a name. And I ran upstairs and I'm like, hey, yeah, 
she's here. He stole the Xbox. We were right. And she's like, are you serious? And she runs down the stairs and goes up to the front door. And this kid immediately had to give her this huge apology on how he basically fucking stole this Xbox and that he's sorry for it. And he also told her the whole plan that he had. He basically went down there while we were skating, took the Xbox, brought it upstairs. And there was a little side dining room in the house. And then there was the main kitchen. And in the side dining room was where all the coats were. So he went over there where all the coats were, wrapped it up in his jacket. And then right when they were about to leave, he basically just held his coat. Like it was just, you know, a little folded up jacket when in reality it was folded up with a fucking Xbox inside of it. And yeah, he left and he got a free Xbox with some games. And all he really got to do was hold it on the ride there because I guess when he got home, he unwrapped it on his table. And he goes, hey mom, look what I got. Like it was a fucking achievement that he stole an Xbox. And she's like, nope, get back in the car. And the only question I have for this kid is, is like, dude, how the fuck did you fit an Xbox with a bunch of games, keep in mind, in that huge jacket? I guess now that I think about it, he really didn't take all of my friends' video games. Most of my friends' video games were in this drawer, but he took six of my friends' favorite video games. That's why my friend always kept them out like that, because he would play them the most. But he didn't get away with it. He fucking showed off that he stole something to his mom. Great idea, dude. But anyway, guys, I thought you would enjoy hearing about this little story. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. And yeah, feel free to leave any of your stories in the comments below if you have any ones like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.